Hey, what's up, guys? Bill Allison here. Hey, look, I have been out of the industry for a very long time, and I'm back in the industry. Uh, and, and the first thing I want to do is I want to do a walkthrough of the 75th anniversary 2023 Skeeter ZXR21. So let's just dive into this thing with my son Billy behind the camera and show you some of the neat features that we've got on the 75th anniversary Skeeter. First thing I want to point out now again I've been I've been out of the industry for like nine years and so some of this stuff may not seem you know new or super cool to you but it does to me first thing I want to look at is this Skeeter built trailer all right we got no third party here Skeeter's brought that in house I really like the design here you know we we always love that swing away trailer so by boat just a little bit too big for the garage no biggie pop the pin give it a kick knock off a few feet love it of course I love the uh, the collapsible you know, front crank here. Got the ZXR Skeeter logo on the side there. Um, just that standard metal stock. We got no fiberglass over there, but I love how that lights up. Looks sweet at night on that awesome green, green, sparkly colored Skeeter there. All right, let's dive on in and take a look at the front of this trailer real quick. We got an awesome, nice little standing platform there. Look, guys, man, I'm nice and thick at about 210. I can stand there and walk up them steps with no concerns whatsoever. Love it. Hey, look. Right here on the front of the boat, we got this thing's powered up right here with this Minn Kota Ultrax 112 pound thrust. This thing is dynamite. Let me tell you about this. It's got a GPS uh, puck up here that communicates with your electronics. It's got here on the foot, we got power steering. You've got an anchor, you hook into a fish and you're, you're trying not to fly nowhere. You got wind maybe trying to blow you off the point. Hook that fish, stomp that right there, folks. And, that, and this trolling motor is going to stick right where you want it. You got continuous on. Why would you want continuous? This this Minn Kota uh, Ultrex communicates with this Humminbird, and we've got some spot lock on there. All right. So with that spot lock, you can have this unit get on that GPS and say, "Hey, I want to stay within 50 feet of this brush pile." You put that spot lock on there, put that continuous on, and that thing's going to rotate around it. It's uh, you can also use it to go down contour lines. That thing right there is awesome stuff. All right, so that's it. That's all I want to show you right here on the front. So why don't we go ahead and jump up in this boat, and let's have my son Billy talk about some of the nice features on the inside of this rig. All right, man. All right, first thing I want to go over is this paddle deck. I guess, as you can see, there's a little level diff level difference right here, and that's because we got this padded deck right here. This padded deck is mainly used for your back, and so you have a more comfort experience when you're fishing. And, of course, you have your, your trolling motor. All right, let's take a look at this first box. So right here, we have the rod box. It can, Skeeter gives us a ton of room here. We can hold 14 to 16 rods. As you can see, we have all our rods here. We also have your light for your courtesy lights. Um, and yeah, well, let's say, let's say, uh, well, 14 to 16 rods is awful lot. But what if I need more? Well, we who the heck needs that many rods? I don't know. <laughs> we <Obviously>. do. <laughs> So we have another rod that this can hold up to six more rods. We also have this as our storage. Skeeter comes with, I think, 12, 10 or 12 boxes, pre-made boxes, where we just, we make the boxes and we put all our lures. And we also have our worm boxes. We also have this little crevices right here. Say you don't have enough room to put everything in. You just throw your stuff that you want. Easy access right there. That's crazy. So it comes already. With this organ, with this organization uh, uh, system here, I like it. Look at that, way too much tackle in there, but still got plenty of room for more. Yep. What you got next there, Billy? Here we have another rod storage, but we use this as storage for our actual stuff. So we have our net, and we have extra line tackle stuff that we need. We have our weigh-in, and then we have our seat just in case if you want to put another seat up here. That's right. Sometimes my back needs a break. Yes, sir. Oh, man. What about this box? I know a lot of people talk about this box, Billy. 
this box right here, let's say you don't want to go through your stuff at um, in the morning or at night, you can just take it inside with you in your hotel. So you got you a day, day box. box. Look at that. You know, you can order it. Load it down with them culprits. Oh, yeah. You can you can take all your worms or things you need instead of doing it in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, stuff like that. You just got it all right there. That's right, guys. You just carry this right into your hotel room with you at night. You can get you can get your baits for the next day put together. We got ours loaded down with plastics because, hey, it's springtime, and everybody knows in the spring you're flipping and you're throwing all that stuff looking for them spawners, but you can hang crankbaits, you can hang spinner baits. That day box is a great feature. Billy, what you got there, passenger? Yeah, we also got the passengers. Of course, we have our sunflowers, and we have our way, and just a couple other things that we need. All right. All right let's take this uh, back. Hang on a second now. Hang on a second. What about, we got this system right here now. Oh, we yeah. We got built-in slots here for some of our tools. And then, hey, how about this standard feature there with that new Skeeter? You got that nice Skeeter design and Skeeter logo uh, golden rule there. Got that pro rule right there. All right. That looks really Already good. built in. All right. Let's take this back to my dad or known as Dr. B.A. Fishing. <laughs> What's up, guys? Man, the first thing I want to point out here at the helm and just kind of in this general area, look at these seats. Now, remember... This may be something that's been standard. I don't know. What I can tell you is I'm pumped. It looks like a fighter jet. It looks like we're rolling down the lake in a big, bright green F-16 or something like that. you got a good feature down here. you got a pull-out handle for the passenger on the rough days when we experience a little bit of turbulence running at Mach 3 in this in this Skeeter ZXR21. That'd be able to hold yourself down. Look, we got a soft cushion step up to get to the back deck with a great cooler. You've got a good seal on it. Look, see some moisture in there? We cleaned that out two days ago. I'm telling you folks, hold your ice for days. One thing I do want to point out when you look at the back of this uh, uh, fishing deck back here, the first thing I want to point out is no matter what size ZXR you get, whether it's a 20, 21, and I even believe down to the 19 and maybe even more, that extra footage is all on the front of the boat. So this back deck is, uh, is about the same size for any boat uh, in the ZXR uh, series. You got your standard day box back here, or your dry box for the passenger and the driver. Good live well system here, and we'll talk about uh, a little more about that live well system here in a minute. But you got a divider in there if you want to be able to pop it open, go for it, whatever. But then you got your uh, research, and you need to pop that head if you want to pump fresh water out of your live well into your way bag. Um, I love it though. But th let's take a look here at the front. All right, these ZXRs come standard with a Hummingbird Helix Gen 4. Uh, 12 here at the helm and then you got a 9 at the bow. We will be doing another YouTube video. We are going to be installing uh, the Mega Live and uh, a Hummingbird Helix 12 Gen 4 on the front. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon. Look, this thing came standard with blinker trim for both your uh, TH Marine uh, uh, tilt on that Yamaha SHO. And then you got your TS Marine Atlas hydraulic drape, uh, drape plate right here, all blinker trimmed. I like to set mine at 15. Uh, seems to work. I could probably go up a tad more, but I like it. This beautiful baby comes uh, standard with another TH Marine hot foot on uh, on this Skeeter. And then what we also show in the back back there, um, Skeeter has already ran your Ether uh, module here, so you're already set up to do multiple units. Um, Skeeter's really taking care of you, but we'll talk more about that in that next video. All right, over here we got standard lights on our um, panel. You know, I mean standard buttons. We got you know our lights, courtesy lights. We got our um, live well fill and circulation build. But one thing I want to point out, um, first off, I love that the drain plug is already built right here. Love it, love it. But I'll tell you what, one thing I want to talk about is you've got to see these features right here, these buttons right here. All right, the first thing we have here is Oxymax. Skeeter's built in an oxygenator to be able to go into your live well system, pumps 100% pure oxygen molecules into the live well. Folks, we got to be conservative in the industry that we're in. And we know that guaranteed, if we pump those oxygen molecules into the live well, increase the survivability of our fish by 35%. Next thing, this bad boy right here, a dry dock. Guys, gals, you get off the water, got a little moisture in all your boxes. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You hit this button, power, turn it on. Can you hear that? Sucking all the moisture out of all of your boxes, runs for 15 minutes, and then it cuts itself off. Awesome feature that Skeeter's put in this boat. Guys, look, last thing I want to talk about, on the, just on the back of the boat, this thing came standard with two 8-foot Minkota Raptors. 
Man, guys, I got to tell you, take a look at that. I love them Raptors. You just uh, we we installed uh, stomp switches on the front of the boat of the boat. Uh, cost about a hundred bucks at Bluetooth to the Minn Kota um, Raptors, and man, you got foot pedals up there to reoperate it. This thing's powered by by far the best motor on the market, guys. It does not get better than this than Yamaha SHO 250 four stroke. Burns no fuel, burns no oil. It charges batteries. This thing is dynamic, and I was telling you, it's the best on the market. Skeeter wouldn't want nothing more than that, or nothing less than that, is but the best. So, guys, gals, that's the Skeeter ZXR21. We love, love this boat. So we're going to hop off of it. We're going to take these steps down, and I want you to get one good, good look of this beautiful green rig. Look at Billy coming down. There it is. All right, everybody, that's it for today. That's the walkthrough of the 2023 75 anniversary, 75th anniversary for Skeeter. This is their ZXR21. That is it. We love it. Man, hard to beat boat on the market. So don't forget, like, subscribe. Hit us up on the socials, on the gram, Facebook, Twitter. Hey, we're trying to build a following with me and my son. Our next video, we're going to show you how we're going to install uh, the Mega Live Imaging as well as the uh, Humminbird Helix 12 on the bow. That's our next video. We want some input from y'all. What do you want to hear? Can we dissect lakes at Dr. B.A. Fishing? Can we help you try to find fish on your home lake? Thank you.